We are back with another 500 years into the future. Another five, we've got to be thousands of years into the future at this point after opening all these boxes. Just kidding, I love Egghead Island. Egghead Island is so great. What an amazing arc. What an amazing and fun arc. You know, with One Piece, I feel like you get to these points where you're like, no way, this can't, there's no way that a fight could get bigger than this or more hype than this. And the fight with Kaido was insane, right? Like how long did that fight take to build up? How long it went on for? I haven't plugged Kaizoku cards in a while. If you you know like custom cards, I make these custom cards. Kaizoku cards, that's me. Not Card D Kaizoku, just to clarify. Card D Kaizoku is a great YouTube content creator and I love his content. I subscribe to it and I watch it. And I love his cadence, the way he talks. I think it's amazing. He's like hypnotizing to listen to. But I make these hypnotizing cards. I am Kaizuka Cards, also known as Joku DMD, also known as John Tall DMD, Doctor of Medicine and Dentistry. So, thanks for checking them out. If you like them, you can go support me. Helps the channel, helps me get more shrimpums. Bless them, the pack. But yeah, Egghead is lit. You know, like I was thinking, Wano was so long and so wild and just so good. And as a One Piece fan, it's hard to think, or it's hard to yes, every box. I just want to keep hitting one in every box. That's all I want. It's hard to think like how could how could it get bigger or wilder than this? But I that's just Oda's thing, right? Every arc, every single arc. It's like wow, Luffy. Oh, here he is, Foxy. We haven't seen this guy. So now wow, these alt arts look so dang good. This like wavy thing going on. Ugh. They're great. I think Bonnie is the last alt art that we're missing. I've pulled every alt art now from this set, I believe, except Bonnie, I'll have to double check. I might be missing something else, but yeah, you know, after after Wano, you're like, how could this get bigger than this? This is so wild, this is so hype. This fight is so insane. Luffy's fighting this such a strong person, but that's just the nature of the story is that he's always got something bigger ahead of him, right? So Egghead was just insane. We saw these insane powers come at Luffy, but at this point, we kind of expect him to be able to handle it, right? We know how tough he is, and he keeps getting tougher. But that last chapter, oh my god. Spoilers, sorry, if you don't read. But the manga is H-Y-P-E in all capitals right now. Joy roll. <coughs> sorry, I had something in my throat. What was that? The, the manga's really good? Yeah, the manga's really good. And I think they're going to the next place soon very excited to see what develops there because it's it's all these places that we've been hearing about for like the whole story right oda's been kind of hyping them up in the different arcs we learn bits and pieces about these places and we see artifacts of their existence come up in the storyline characters people or oh there's ace all right so we got a alt art and a uh secret i think we might i have a feeling we're gonna see an alt art leader in this box it's either gonna be an alt art leader no we got a secret there could potentially be another alt art it's also a possibility it could be a two hit box and there also could be nothing it could just be it that could just be the entirety of the heat that we pull there's a bonnie regular art not the alt art still have not pulled an alt art bonnie but that's all right. I was just reading that law. That law is kind of crazy. Dofi Loki gets nuts support in this set. All right, this is going to be it. Are we going to get something good in this pack? Is this an alt art leader? No, it's not. Is it an alt art card? Is this just a two hit box? That's it. So we just got two hits in this box. That's fine. Uh oh, we got cards flying out of the wall over here. Blast them out of the wall. I'm, I'm just collecting SRs and alt arts at this point because really everything from, I want from this set I have, I have collected. We got a treasure rare law and a manga boa in the last case, which is absolutely bonkers. Absolutely and completely bonkers. But let's get to this next box. Box number two of this Shrimp Adventure. I guess I'll sleeve this. Uh, where's our Foxy? Foxy. I'm not one to put cards and sleeves on, on, on camera very often, but I guess I will for those, for those of you that just detest when I don't sleeve cards. Sorry, I don't sell cards. I play with them. You know, I'm not. I'm not here to, to flip them. I'm here to strip them. I like that. I'm gonna use that. So, yeah. What's next? 
Do you guys think Kid and, and Law are coming back? I feel like they couldn't just be out. They can't just be out of the story. Bless them. Just like that. They gotta, there's got to be some reprieve. They need some. Kid just got shot so quick. And his kid... Okay, I hear some crazy theories about Kid. I I came up with this theory. That, oh, Hawkins. Really good card. Really, really, really insanely sticky card. Um, kid is... Maybe Shanks' son? Probably not true. But they both have red hair. They both have one arm. Maybe that was like Shanks' way of teaching his son. Tough love was like cutting off his son's arm and saying, look... I figured out how to live like this. Why don't you figure out how to live like this? And he did. You know, he took down a, an emperor like that. So that's one theory. The other theory is that, uh, yes, Kid is a defective Vegapunk satellite. So he's the, like, the one other. I think that, oh, Ace. Sick. Very. This card just looks so insanely good, and it is so insanely good. I like that art better than the Sabo. Even though the Sabo and the Ace kind of go together, they were kind of like built together, I feel like I like the Ace better because I think it's because I like the Sabo secret so much. The Ace secret looks good too, but the Ace alt I think looks better than the secret. I think we're gonna get an alt art leader in this box is my guess. Or we could get a secret as well. That's also a possibility. Um, but that because all his uh, all his moves are punk like punk vice punk rotten punk um, So, you know, he's got that like Vega punk vibe to him. I thought that was an interesting theory. It's also kind of like mechanical dude technology based Like the satellites But I don't know. I would like to see kid and law come back their characters were developed so much and Bonnie seeming to be a much more important character than we thought that she was, so that's really cool. So I think it's cool to see like the the worst generation pirates have these bigger roles than we sort of expected them to initially. It's just great storytelling. Oda is the best storyteller in the history of ever. And we're so lucky to have this cool shiny card game with shiny cards. And is there gonna be a secret? Is there gonna be a leader in here? No, it's not a leader. Not a secret either. So it could be in here, or this could just be a two altar box. Those happen. Moment of truth, the blossom. And here, we, not, not a leader. Secret, nope, just a two altar box. But two great altars, very happy to have those. I'd rather have this than a secret, honestly. Anyway, thanks for coming by, it's been the Shrip'em. I'm Joku GMD, I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be floss. I know people tell you to do this, but they don't tell you why. The reason why you should floss is because you get stuff out of your gum tissue because bacteria goes to that stuff in your gum tissue. It produces acid and breaks down the tissue connection to your gum. And then the bacteria have a way to get down to the bone. They start reducing the bone height and then you lose bone support for your teeth. So floss that stuff out of your gums and protect your periodontium. Thanks for checking out. I'll see you all next week. Thank you.